And I thought Colton and I were bad about getting up in the morning. We got Surfer Cat here. And the ferocious dog on patrol. Colton finally was able to get some extra sleep last night. He didn't have to work quite as late and was able to um, go to work a little later than he had the last few days. And I was had full intention of going back to bed and sleeping because I was tired. And then I started catching up on some YouTube channels and going, you know, I got a lot I should probably get done today. So I'm at it and we're gonna see how the chickens are doing. All right, girls, here's the deal. I've been making a lot of turkey and ham sandwiches lately. The deal is you do eggs. Otherwise, I'm gonna start making chicken sandwiches. And Raisin is still trying to eat them. That would be an egg, but I'm wondering if she didn't have enough calcium because it looks kind of squishy. Great. And I gave him oyster shells, but as you can see, my oyster shell feeder, I gotta make some modifications. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that too. I did find one back where I found the very first egg, so I'm wondering if it's the same hen that laid it not in a nesting box. It's kind of warm, but it's probably been out for a couple hours, is my guess. Maybe not. I could be wrong. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. And I did pick up that soft shell egg. It was soft. It was a little bit of a shell, but it was soft. And I chucked it out here, and that thing already downed it. She's pretty impervious. And she likes to steal food, don't you? Yep. Yep. So a water hack I do is when you undo this cap here, the water that's in the reservoir is going to go into this tray, which instead of being up here, it'll now be down here. So maybe a, a quarter of a gallon at the most, but... I just fill the tray with some more water and then I don't have to fill my water container quite as often and some people are like well you should be changing the water every day well maybe so but this is what I do so chickens are happy they'll be fine Trying to see if I can do a little magic trick with one of the girls. Let me put this water can down. Raisin is waiting patiently to eat chicken. Okay. Nope, they're not. I wonder if this one. There we go. See how she flattens out and spreads her feathers a little bit? That's because she thinks my hand could be a rooster. Sometimes I do it more than others. It seems like when I turn on the camera, they don't do it at all. But when I walk just around, they start flattening out like that. Apparently they just want to eat the water can. But why am I showing you this? One, because it's funny. And two, that's kind of how I was suspecting they were going to start laying soon. It's because when they flatten out, they're ovulating, which is meaning the egg is dropping. And one of the girls started doing it several days ago, and we got an egg eventually. It's not perfect rocket science, but if you don't want to have to, you know, do the gross checks that I haven't even looked into, just see if they're flattening out a little bit like that. They should be having some eggs soon. 
Not perfect science, but hey, it's an idea. Mark the asparagus. My asparagus that I planted from seed last year survived. I didn't think it would, and then all of a sudden, poof. True in asparagus fashion, it just randomly appeared. And now Raisin is trying to... Ooh, there's more over there! Sweet! Um, man, I thought I only had like one clump. Now I have four. We need to get that done. You don't like asparagus, but that's okay. I'm not a huge fan of asparagus, but you never know. We could enjoy it. Yes, we could. All right, so today, first priority, this is what you call a ball socket, I guess. Just think of it like a, a hip, hip socket joint. You know, you have your pelvis and then you have your femur coming into the pelvis with a joint. I think in anatomy, sorry. This is the thing I have to replace on the lawnmower. Friendly guy at John Deere, help me out with this. Thank you, buddy. Um, we'll see if I can figure out how to install it. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Just a couple bolts and threads and... So definitely have to get that done because this yard could use a trimming in places. Um, Oh, there was other things I, oh, I'm losing my mind. Need to get some of these plants more potted up. I think I have somebody coming for more broccoli. I gotta get a couple sunflower kits together again. I'm shipping two, I think Monday. Shipping, like shipping, actually shipping to people. Um, lettuce is looking good that I transplanted yesterday, but these sunflowers are taking off way faster than I thought. I have a location that I need to scope out and see if I can plant them there. It's kind of in a not convenient place, but it's out of the way for everything else. And then I have another project that is probably going to take me several days to complete, but I got to get it done stat like soon. So I'm interested to know all you other people that are staying at home, if you have projects that you are starting to accumulate and then need done. You know, it's not like we don't have these projects on a normal basis, but man, I don't know where they all came from. It's like all of a sudden, bam, three weeks into this thing and I am busy. That's why I stayed up this morning. I like sleep. I like a lot of sleep and I like sleeping in, but I have to chug more coffee and get to work and figure out how to do this. So this is what we're fixing. Watch. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. I was sitting on the seat and I happened to look down and the tires were facing two different directions. So right now they're okay because I had to drive it in. But if you ever look, and your tires aren't cement like parallel it's probably because that rod that moves them something's wrong with it so um the the ball came off the socket and after talking with colton decided that it was probably shot so that's how we got the new part so I gotta take this off, that piece off, and then I have to take this off. And we'll see how it goes. Now, when I, my dad uses all this jargon about, be sh get me a half inch socket with a three quarter wrench with a blah, 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 blah. I just say, hand me the thing of a jabber, and I take 800 wrenches to whatever I need to work on because I can't tell what size it is. But I did figure out that this wrench fits that nut. So at least that gives me a starting point for things. I can go up or down. And then I figured out that this socket fits on this bolt. So I can at least get that off. And then we'll go from there. Note to self, when you're undoing the nut on the top, be sure that you put 
a wrench on the bottom, this thing here, because otherwise you'll just keep spinning. And this is not a Finding Nemo movie. Now, I'm guessing most of the people watching this are guys just wanting a kick out of a girl trying to change a ball and socket joint. But for those that don't know, this is called a lock nut. And the reason why it's a lock nut is it keeps it on the bolt. So when you screw it on the bolt, this this piece here on the top, that extra little ring, if it'll focus, it actually helps keep the nut on. And I'm sure there's other purposes that some guy could explain to you, but all I know is that they're good and bad. They're good for keeping the bolt on. They're a pain in the rear if you're trying to do things by finger touch. So this is the, the ball. Now I gotta get the socket off. So how this puppy works is this nut tightens on this to keep it from screwing off because this piece screws onto the rod and then you tighten the nut. My problem is that Colton has vice grip hands and I can't loosen this nut. And so I'm at a stopping point for now. Instead of messing with it, I'm just going to go on to something else. Meanwhile, while I was fighting the lawnmower, I found some seed trays. I am so excited. So I can use those to up pot probably herbs because I think I need bigger cups. I think I'm going to use cups for some of the sunflowers. Um, because they have such a larger root and some of my squash that have sprouted. I think I called them gourds yesterday, but they're really squash. So, and then these are loofahs. I'm so excited. I got loofahs going. And then there's that big thing of lettuce. I should just let the chickens have it, call it a day. And I also found some hanging things so I could hang up my lettuce planter. Excited. Unless it, like, burns in the sun so back in the greenhouse i got it so i ended up taking the dumb thing off both sides so i had to take this side off too so this would be looking at it as if you were in the driver's seat this is my left wheel this is my right front wheel you have to hold this part stationary and then turn this nut off and of course I was trying to do it the wrong direction the first time but this wrench holds the socket stationary and this turns the nut now something my dad taught me is leverage and I couldn't get enough oomph or strength to get this nut loose until I pulled out that puppy and you just put your wrench up slide a bigger wrench on it and the longer the handle the more power you have I don't know if you can really see that and then you can really get cranking on it and no, I didn't hurt anything in the process, except maybe this nut when I was going the wrong direction. But it'll be fine. So we're taking this nut off. A little bit, loosening that. So that then we can loose, take this socket off. And now I need two hands again in order to do that. One thing I'm sure is important is how far you thread this piece on because if you have two wheels you want them parallel or whatever they're supposed to be but if you have this too far out that one wheel may not sit right on your on your alignment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on about where the old piece was and hopefully it'll be okay um, because I don't know how to align it properly. Colton will have to fine tune it later. But the good news is I parked the lawnmower in the position where this 
fit on the bad ball. So if I install it and I can't get this side to match up, I know that I need to tighten this piece a little bit. So we'll see if we can get that done. And I think I officially changed a tie rod joint. I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm sure a mechanic is going to tell you something like, make sure that this nut is tight on the joint before you reinstall it. But I didn't because I wanted the flexibility of changing this length. By screwing it on or off, I'm changing the length that it is on the rod. I'm changing the position on the rod. So um, I did kind of move the tire a little bit um, to make sure that it got right in the hole. I tightened the lock nut again and then I tightened this nut. It acts as a lock onto the joint so it doesn't pivot and I did do that after I installed it. So this is the ball that was sitting up like this on the, the um, frame. I used for this model mower, I don't know that it's universal, I used a 3 quarter inch wrench, a 5 8 inch wrench, and a 3 quarter socket, the socket to get off the, the lock nut from the frame. And then I used an additional giant wrench when I had to pry off the nut on the tie bar. But ladies and gentlemen, this farm chick just changed a tie rod joint. All right, so to wrap up, sold two more kits. I think I'm shipping three out Monday. The tie rod is fixed. I didn't drive the lawnmower around. I'm not pushing my luck, but I think it's fixed um, for now. I'm really excited. I also want to thank, oh, there comes Raisin. <laughs> I really want to thank some girls in my community who not only bought kits, but they were so excited. They created a Facebook group for their sunflower kits, and I am just so honored. So thank you so much. If you're interested in joining the group, get a hold of me, and I will um, can add you. They're just following each other, and they're growing, and I think it's just, it's called Raise a Sunshine, actually. So it's just a really wonderful thing, especially at this time in our lives. But um, I'm really appreciative of those girls, um, not only for buying kits, but for just making me feel really good about it. Um, it. It's just really special that they would enjoy it that much to me. So thank you, girls, if you're watching. Um, I did end up running out of one kind of seed, actually two now. Um, so I've had to supplement with something else that's pretty comparable and I'm just going to have to update my, um, uh, my card here. And I also, one of the ones I'm shipping out is to a relative up in the burbs and they have a patio, they don't have a yard. So I found some container varieties. So I might update my post as well with, um, or a whole new post of, if, of, of container varieties. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wrap it up today. Um, today is Saturday and I was going to do a YouTube farmer update, but I'm going to do that a different day so it can be a whole new topic. Um, growing subscribers, it's super exciting. Um, but tomorrow is Easter. Yesterday was Good Friday and it's going to be a strange holiday for us. Um, my mom is definitely cooking, so I'm kind of excited about that. I haven't really been cooking much lately since Colton's been out of the house. But um, poor kid's been eating sandwiches for the last mm, 10 days or something. But it's it's going to be a unique uh, Easter to remember. So um, I hope everyone has a wonderful Easter. Um, I feel really blessed this season. Um, we're not in a great state uh, the, as a populace, you know, with, with what's going on. But I've been very lucky lately, so um, I'm really appreciative of that. But anyway, I hope everyone has a great Easter. Um, eat some food. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. There should be a link, I think, down that way. 
um, to subscribe, liking, and commenting. Let me know what you think about the container varieties. I'd be interested to know if you think that would be a better alternative or a, a, a good option to offer, as well as any other kit ideas you have. Um, I'm still kind of amazed that they're going. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Have a good night.